Greetings, Dave here with Ben Teardrop. And I just wanted to show you the difference between our five by eight and our five by 10 Teardrop campers. Check it out. So first off, we got the five by eight, which is your traditional teardrop size. This customer went for two doors, so they can exit or enter from either side of the trailer. All the doors have slider windows that pop up, so you get plenty of ventilation through the doors alone. But we did add a roof vent for them. It's a powered roof vent. Turn that on. It's such a, such a small spot, it'll cool down really, really quick. Here's kind of the basic cabinetry that we'll do on the inside of a five by eight. Well, it's good to hold like your clothes and your all your different random stuff. And then these shelves also make a good spot to set your phone if you want to kick it over here and watch a show or whatnot. Um, here we did a little USB charging station. It's got two USB ports and a voltage meter. And then a shelf so you can pop your phone up there or your camera or whatever and let it charge up. A couple of cup holders. And this will fit a queen size bed. It's just about 77 inches long by five foot wide. And the video doesn't really do it justice, but we've got a good four feet of headspace here. So it's a lot roomier than it looks from the outside. You can sit up right here and read a book, hang out. So back here we have the galley. And for this customer, we did just their standard galley. So if you're looking at your, our website and you're wondering what the galley options are, this is your stock galley. So you got some partitions, you got a little holder for your water tank. It's gravity fed, just drips right down to here. We did upgrade him to a soap dispenser. So instead of putting a piece, you know, a soap container right here, you just have it right inside there. Uh, they also did AC outlets. So if they ever do plug into power, shore power, things provided the campsite or a generator, you plug in there and that will turn on these outlets. So you could run a toaster or a blow dryer or whatever you're gonna do. Not necessary, but sometimes it's kind of nice. And then all of our trailers come stock with this little console. You've got the voltage meter, tells you how much is on the battery. You got your USB power. You got a cigarette adapter for power. And then this is the LED lights, turns it on and off. And then inside here, got a little cubby. Holds all your pots and pans and whatnot. He's just doing one battery, but if you want to add a secondary one, there's this space there for it. All your fuses. And that's the stock galley on a five by eight. So moving on to the five by 10. This is last year's model. This is uh, one we did for a customer. We brought it in to just do a little routine maintenance. And yes, we do maintain these trailers for you. Um, it's like any camp trailer, there's always a break in period. So if you wanted to bring it back and do some modifications or you've camped it a few times and you want to make some changes, uh, we can do that. So one thing that they did is we added on an aluminum countertop. That way they can throw hot things on there and not worry about scratching the surface. Uh, what else did we do? We popped on this extra light. They just had light on one side and uh, she wanted light on the passenger side. So we just popped this little light on there for them. They've got a little roof rack set up which, you know, we just sell you the mounts here typically, and then you can put any roof rack set up you want. So they decided to go for some luggage racks. And they also have an awning, which is pretty cool. Um, really the fundamental difference between the five by eight and the five by 10 is just cabin length. So in here, they got the queen size bed, but they also have an extra two feet of space at the foot of the bed. So you can throw in shelves you can throw in a doggy bed which is typically what we do for this guy you can throw in um your suitcases or whatnot and then there's also room for a bunk so this is a five foot by 30 inch bunk kid goes up here kid works great for the kid until they get over five feet and at that time you probably should kick him out and throw him into a tent so you can have this thing to yourself um same deal the five by tens come stocked with two doors so you can exit or enter from either side one thing I'd like to show you is basically the difference between uh, the galley, the stock galley, and the and the upgraded galley. So right here you've got your, your stock galley. This is come standard on every trailer we make. 
from there you might want to add on a few things so this is the upgraded galley it's last year's version so we have a we add on a spice or um, a whiskey rack now in addition to the spice rack whiskey or wine whatever you know your preference is and then you add some drawers so this, these are nice because they'll hold all your utensils and whatnot a couple extra partitions for you know toothpaste things like that they've got lighters and stuff in here and uh yeah so that's essentially the difference stock galley upgraded galley stock galley upgraded galley have it the 5x10 and the 5x8 by Ben Teardrop thanks for watching check you later <laughs>